What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, if you have an old car key like I do uh, and want to switch it over to something that looks a little more modern, well, you can do that thanks to these flip key conversions. So I've actually been playing around with this a little bit. As you know, I bought a Plymouth Prowler. It is an old car, 2001. They didn't even put those electronic chips in keys at the time. So you can actually just go to any like locksmith and they'll just make you a quick copy because it's just a low tech key. And it looks low tech. It looks like kind of a crappy old Chrysler key. And so what I wanted to do was take the remote that it comes with, which is just kind of a big clunky old school remote and an old school key and uh, upgrade them to this flip out key system here. So you can buy these for a lot of different cars, you know, make some models. Uh, basically the big differentiator here is the type of remote you have because you'll use the guts, you'll use that circuit board and transmitter on your existing remote and play, replace it here. And so what you'll notice is that these buttons are gonna look exactly like your existing remote because it's basically a duplicate of it with a different housing. That also includes the flip out key. So, you know, make sure visually it's the same, but you also might want to check their compatibility list. This one is for the Chrysler cars of this era, so that's why I got it. As you can see, it looks pretty nice. I mean, it has that matte finish plastic. It's pretty nice plastic. Uh, the remote is exactly the same setup as the existing remote. It has a nice um, lanyard hole on this side, and then we have the flip out key with the push button spring loaded, and boom, it flips out just like that. Then the key is a blank. Now, I've already gone ahead and cut this, uh, which we'll show you, but you just can, you can take this apart. There's three little Phillips head screws in here, so you just need kind of a small Phillips head screwdriver, and then the whole thing comes apart. Keep in mind that there are some uh, small pieces in here, like a spring that you know re is retained in here, uh, and when you unscrew everything, it's going to come out. But uh, you know you want to keep it all in a nice little bag, and then you can take out this part, which is what I did. I took out the key, this part here, took it to my locksmith, and he cut it. Now, he charged me 20 bucks to cut this key, and he won't guarantee it. Uh, I thought that was a little expensive, but it is what it is, especially when you know, you're gonna kind of upgrade and it's kind of a little bit of a strange thing. But then you can go and carry kind of a, a modern looking key and you know, not feel so much like it's dated. So let's go ahead and take it apart and look at the guts. All right, so here's the key broken down, and I uh, just wanna show it to you. As you can see here, here's the front panel. Um, and it comes with a little rubber insert. In this case, it has a uh, lock, unlock, trunk, and panic button. Now, what's interesting on this is the key that I have only has three buttons. It doesn't have the trunk unlock. And so if you'll notice here, there's only three cutouts and so what they do is they kind of only make one of these silicone moldings and then you just use it in this and that third button is I guess kind of doesn't poke through and it's just gonna hover there so that's kind of interesting now if you are swapping this you know from your existing remote into here you could potentially just reuse your own silicone insert so what's interesting is I didn't realize that it kind of had the fourth button and so if you have the fourth button one, it looks like it's almost the same thing. They just use another mold on this front piece. Okay, so we've got that. Here's the back piece that comes off right here. Uh, as you can see, one of the screws is still a little captive in there. It's not really captive, but uh, it just kind of fell back in. And you use these two screws to come out. This piece, this little um, chrome strip all the way around is real metal and it gives the key some weight. So that's actually pretty nice. Uh, that's pretty cool. Looks like the battery would go in here and then the, the circuit board would fit on top of there. This is this is pretty cool and a pretty nice finish. And as you can see, it has a little key or a lanyard hole right there so you can put other keys on it. And so that'll go on there. Uh, and again, just because they add this, that's kind of cool because it has some nice weight and kind of balances out the weight of the key on this side. Now, here's the top part that comes out, right? So as you can see here, there's a little post and there's a spring here with this little cam, which has teeth that match these slots on the key itself, right? So what you do is when you're putting this back, you either twist them, well you twist them however 
you need to twist you can twist the them both like this but you want to give this key a little wind up pressure so that when you release it with the button here which you can see poking poking out whoops it's going to flip out like that boom see how it wants to flip out boom and so you just have to wind it up a little just a couple winds and then you put it all back together and then you use uh you can see the screw hole there that holds it down okay so that's how that all works cool together is just the reverse of it so you know what you're gonna do is you're gonna you probably want to keep all the old parts from your old remote but you're basically gonna sacrifice the old remote and swap the guts and then get this key cut to match your your existing key but how cool is that now if you do have a a key that has like the microchip in it you actually have to kind of take apart the old key so like in some of the Lexus there's a plastic top on the key and you will actually have to kind of take a hammer or something and break it open or use kind of a knife and pry it open I've seen people do that and then usually inside there's a little space uh, kind of a little hollowed out place where you're gonna, you're gonna put that chip into the key um, case here and then I've seen people kind of use just a little dab of glue to hold it in place so if you have more modern key great but if you're like me and have a 2001 then not even an issue any 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 matching key will work but I'm pretty impressed with this for you know 30 bucks or, or less you can kind of give yourself an experiential upgrade you know keep your old car but have it feel modern especially when you grab the key and I'll be honest it's kind of a snobby thing to do because no one really cares it's not even particularly more practical and it's not smaller but if you have a car that you really love and you whip out a key that looks like you're driving an old jalopy that can kind of be embarrassing because that's the only thing people might see so save yourself the embarrassment get one of these flip out key conversions peter von panda out